Hey there guys and welcome back to Dead Rising 2 off the record. In the last episode there was a breakout in the safe house. Zombies came in, TK escaped, TK got bit by a zombie, Sullivan was being awfully suspicious about stuff, uh, TK was recaptured, and Frank premise discovered that he needs to go down into some underground tunnel to discover exactly what the hell is going on. Sounds like a plan. Also, first things first, just going to give TK some Zombrex here. Because that's pretty much required if you want to get the best ending. So it's a good thing I have plenty of Zombrex to give. The only reason we're keeping you alive is because death is way too easy for you. You want that interview. It's plain and simple. Something in it for you, too, baby. You better get used to this, TK. You better get used to being a fool. By the way, thanks for the med, sucker. <laughs> Don't mess with the face. Ah, uh, that was very satisfying. Honestly, TK just has that face you just want to punch. Alright. Jeez, that is pretty much on the other side of town. Okay, so, I have to go into the underground. Where's the closest underground access point, though? And these, the gas is even leaking through the vents in here. It's a good thing that there's no zombies in this place. Uh, oop, snack. I will take that because my health is not completely filled up yet. Baseball bat, uh, sure, I'll go and make the spiked bats. It's pretty much a decent, good to go combat weapon. Always available for you. The most trustworthy item in the game. Never gonna let you down. Alright, let's roll. Let's see, we still have some guns. Uh, do we have anything in here I can use? Boom. What was bucket? No. Oh, yeah, flashlight plus the computer case did make the money hacker. But. Well, I do believe it was pretty decent electrocuting people. I mean, let's give it a go. Not that we really need money anymore at this point in the game. I, I still have like nearly a million and a half to spend anyway. But whatever. I need to clear some inventory space. Sad part about the handguns is you can't throw them away. You can only get rid of them if you just empty them. So just uh, emptying the clip. Never knew that a handgun could hold 30 bullets without reloading. Ah, game physics. Gotta love them. Alright, let's roll. Boom, out of the way. And you, oh crap, out of range. Now I'll let you live for now. I have suddenly become very pacifistic towards zombies. Not towards this one though, he's an a <clears throat> he's an asshole. Uh, underground access. Wasn't there one around here? Boom! Oh, jeez, like, he lost an arm, a, a leg, and his head, I believe. Pretty sure there was an underground access point around here somewhere. I wonder if the arrow was going to lead me to that, or just to the nearest thing. Oh, no. Maintenance. Was it in here? Oh, yep, I see the orange. What the hell is he doing there? Trying to surprise me from behind the door? And, oh, rip his head off. I haven't shown off that skill move yet, so I figured, hey, let's give it a try. And then that is pretty nasty. He just rips their head clean off. Although, I did uh, a few days ago, I believe, or maybe last week. You know how in Iraq shit's going down now with those Muslim savages? Basically 
murdering everyone in their path because they need an, a country of their own. So, stumbled upon a video of that, of uh, those savages beheading people, or while cutting the heads off of corpses. I don't know why the hell I even bothered to watch that, but it was actually pretty interesting. It's way, e turns out it's way easier than I thought to cut off someone's head, when they're dead at least. I thought that, that was going to take like minutes or something, but it, ju it was just a matter of seconds. Bow and arrow. I don't know if that's really a very good uh, zombie killing weapon. Then again, I do believe, don't they use bows and arrows all the time in The Walking Dead? I'll admit I haven't ever seen a single episode of The Walking Dead. I've played the, uh, the episodic video game, which was pretty good. But I've never seen a single episode of the TV show, even though it does air over here. We do have the Fox Network. Out of the way there, uh, army guy. Just gonna run him over, and again, and again, and he's still not dead. Okay, sure, we'll just uh, leave this here then. Look at him squirm. Let's just put him out of his misery, shall we? Where's my gun? There's my gun. Alright. Come on. Did he get him? Jeez, he's soaking up the bullets. And kill this guy too, because he's an asshole. Ah, got him. Okay, I could use one of their assault rifles though. Just gotta clear this. No, no, no. Not gonna fall for that again. Come on, Frankie. Chop him up. Real good. Nice. And... Who the hell is Die Hard or Raven 99? I have no clue who this is. No, I do not want to play freaking co-op. I don't want some random asshole ruining my game for me. I don't even know who the hell that is. Why is he able to join my game when he's a complete stranger? He's not even on my friends list or anything. I don't recognize that PSN name. Anyway, let's take this one because this one's fresh and undamaged. So, coming through because we're still not quite there yet. We literally have to go through pretty much the entire underground tunnel network to get to where we need to go. From where I went underground, at least. Yep, the vents are even pumping the gas through in here. Ooh, what do I see over there? Is that a ramp? Oh boy, time for some action goodness. Woo, stunt driving! Uh, that was kind of underwhelming. Then again, this thing ain't exactly a sports car now, is it? Are we nearly there? I'm just gonna leave those guys alive. Oh, crap. Oh, no, 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 no. Nice. Oh, now we're up shit creek without a paddle. Come on, Frankie. It's a good thing I still have the knife broom. Which is way too good at killing zombies. It even kills the big pumped up ones in one hit. I like this weapon. And it's simplistic, and you could actually make this in real life. Just grab a broom, grab a big-ass knife, grab some tape, and ta-da! D-I-D-U-I combo weapon. Wait, no, 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 D-Y-I. No, D-I-Y. Damn, why can't I get that abbreviation correctly? But, I mean, D-U-I, that's driving under the influence. What the hell does that have to do with anything? Anyway, new car, damn it. If those guys would just stop shooting at me for a few seconds. Hit the gas, Frankie, we need to go. Why are they all walking in this direction? That's weird. Yeah, they are actively walking towards this place. I wonder what's up with that. Do Are they going where we need to go? Because that would suck. Out of the way, coming through. Stop hogging the road. Uh, okay, so this is where we need to go. But the door appears to be locked. Oh, crap. Gu oh, shit. Guys with bad guns. Gotta be careful. They don't really seem to go after me that much. They really want to get to the inner side of that door, it seems. Okay, you, you are going to get it. So I have an axe. And I'm to going to chop you up. Still took three blows to kill him. Pretty sure you can kill a person with one good blow of an axe. 
I mean, if there's one thing that's good for murdering people, it's probably axes. And chopping down trees. Multifunctional murder weapons, the best kind. Then again, isn't every, pretty much every murder weapon multifunctional? I mean, you can use a knife to cut your food and kill people. You can use a gun to... Um... Well, I guess guns are only good for killing people. And maybe hunting or whatever. Anyway, toss this, maybe there's something good in it. No, I don't want this crappy knife. Okay, there's still one guy over there. Did you just spit through that barricade? Well, he can't get to me from there, so should be safe. I do really need to uh, drink some orange juice, though. So my health is dangerously low. There we go. Good old OJ. Alright. Damn it. Zombie, could you stop puking at me for five seconds? So I can kind of distinguish where this guy is. He's kind of hiding behind that smoke from my cart. Oh well. He's dead now. Just get Oh, nice. Level up. Combo card. What do we get? Oh, that one. That was like one of the first combo weapons I made. How is that not an early game combo card? Why the hell do you get that at level 30? Although I don't know if those are randomized or not, like... Maybe you get just get a random one. I don't know if it's set in stone that you always get the knife gloves at level 30. Anyway... Ah... This is what opens the doors. Well, not the gun, but that little button over there. There we go. Alright, what awaits behind the door? Right, so they kill the zombies and they gather up the bee things that live inside of them for what purposes? No, I don't want the camera. I'm not gonna kill them by taking pictures. Although that would be pretty nifty if you could, like, just activate the flash and just blind enemies temporarily. I mean, you could probably do that with a camera. Die. Two guys up there. Okay, they're dead. Still a couple zombies around, but they're pretty harmless. Nevertheless, I'm still gonna bash their heads in. Because gotta get that kill count up. Ooh, oh crap. Another guy. 
right there. Where's my gun? There we go, 19 bullets left. Should be enough. Shame that you can't change the, uh, like, over which shoulder you're viewing this. You're always gonna have to do like this, which kinda makes it hard to shoot from cover sometimes. But whatever, pick up a fresh gun and then heal up a little with some soda and a pizza. Mmm, pizza. That's not how you eat a pizza, Frank. You're gonna get that all over your face. And onion rings. I don't like onion rings. Kinda nasty. Still better than those fried squid rings, though I've had those ones. Ugh. Don't get me started on those. Probably one of the nastiest things I've ever eaten. Then again, I'm not really much for all those exotic animal foods anyway. Like, I've, I've eat, I've, I ate ostrich once, and that's probably where I draw the line. Wouldn't go as far as eating like a fried cockroach or frog legs or whatever. Ooh, what do we have here? A new gun. Blast frequency gun. I'm guessing that's the, the sound weapon they use to kill all the zombies easily. So, let's give that thing a go. I used to have like a whole McDonald's on that table over there. Alright, in the next episode of Dead Rising 2 Off the Record, we will go down that tube and see what the hell they're doing with the bees. So I guess th that kind of explains why they're making the zombies. They need the zombies to make the bees, I suppose. I'm gonna assume. We'll probably discover for sure in the next episode, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.